Hey guys, it's Patrick here from thegaragebandguide.com. In this quick tip video, I'm going to show you how to install new plugins in GarageBand 10, but more specifically, new plugins that come in a dot .component file format. They're the ones that kind of look like a little Lego block. So let's get started. For this tutorial, I'm going to install the Voxengo Tube Amp plugin. It's a great little free plugin and it's perfect to show you how this works. I'll just click on download audio unit for Mac and I'll just wait for it to finish downloading. So that's finished. I'll just drag the .dmg file out of my downloads folder and onto my desktop just so you can see easily. Double click on the .dmg file to open it and it's this .component file that we need to move. You need to put the .component file into the library folder on your Mac. To do that, hit go in the toolbar at the top of the screen. Now by default, the library folder is hidden on your Mac. To show it, simply hold the option key while you're in this menu and you'll see it appear. So once you've opened the library folder, you need to open this audio folder. Then, after that, open the plugins folder and you'll see a folder named components. You can see that I've already got some in here already. And from here, it's just a case of dragging your .component file from, in this instance, my desktop into the components folder. Once you've done all that, the next time that you open GarageBand, you'll see that Voxengo is selectable from the audio units list there, as is the Tube Amp plugin. And you can repeat this process for every plugin that you download that comes in the form of a dot .component file. And there you have it. That's how you install component file plugins in GarageBand 10. If you like this video, then hit the wee thumbs up button below. It really does help. Subscribe if you haven't already. And make sure you come and check out the garagebandguide.com for more great GarageBand tutorials. Bye for now.